So look for that today. Jordan Baggett joins up with Taylor Flint in midfield, the addition we spoke about coming over to Louisville. A very familiar back line as well with McCutcheon, Sams, and Strom with Morehouse behind them. There's the whistle, and away we go. It is the Orlando Pride. It is racing Louisville as we get this season. And Marta will curl this in and just wide. Not a bad effort from Orlando's number 10. And she said, you just have to be very present in how to relate to different players is also something she's really starting to learn in the head coach role. As Turner plays this through, it's a great ball forward, trying to chip the keeper! The opening goal for Racing Louisville in 2024! What a start for Alexa Barr! And that's just unbelievable play through midfield. Look at the smile on Bev Yana. She's got to be happy about that. And she said that Alexa Barr not only is a magnificent player, her energy, her passion is contagious. And she gets this first opportunity to put the goal away. But look at this ball from Raylan Turner. That vision from the rookie perfectly placed in behind. And that is... Pick it'll run away. It's Savannah DeMello who is on target. And Morehouse able to well to win the ball back and trying to go quickly. This is turned in field. Turner turning it upfield. It's Barr trying to switch the point of attack. Comes all the way through. Uchenna Kanu could be in. Kanu scores! The perfect start for Racing Louisville. It's 2-0. This is an absolutely unbelievable buildup. And although Turner hasn't scored, she's been a part of both of these plays. First bringing Alexa Barr, then this ball played in behind. It was a close one right there, but Kanu continues to play, puts it low, which makes it hard for Morehouse as she goes for that far post. Big Morehouse. Gonna look for a shot. Turning it back. The cross in front, deflecting, and it's in. Orlando has pulled one back. Abello making it happen. We'll see who gets credit for this. Orlando will take it though. It's 2 1. Here's Marta. Moved out wide. The cross coming in. Adriana trying to flick it along. Pick it to clear. Only as far as Angelina. And through lines again. Adriana will take it on. Bouncing right into the arms of Katie Lund. Here in Louisville. Definitely lots of goals that are coming so far, and Orlando Pride starting to get more into that first half, but I would expect a response from Louisville, especially in front of their home crowd. And here we go, 45 more minutes. Savannah DeMello, an in-swinger, bounces in front, and Kadu puts it wide. I think she was surprised it fell right to her foot. There was a bit of a reaction there where you're right, it did look like she was a bit surprised there and still a great opportunity for Louisville. Now it's Doyle just trying to hold play up. Foul and a free kick. And maybe a quick talking to as well and a yellow card. It looks like will be shown here. And that is a second yellow to Kylie Strom. It's the one coming off. And it's Brianna Martinez who comes on. Martinez is an interesting story. As it... And the free kick. It's headed towards goal, flicked in front, and it's into the corner. Orlando's pulled one back. Summer Yates scores. We're level at two. And this is why set pieces are so incredibly important. From nothing, you can generate an opportunity, and that's exactly what the Pride do here. They get that set piece right there in the middle of midfield. It doesn't seem like it's going to be dangerous, and they make the most out of it. And it's because of this run 
coming across. Amanda Allen able to flick that on in Summer Yates with the great finish. It's right here. They're going to watch to see if that run was well timed or not. But what a great finish with the outside of the boot for Summer Yates. And that is where this game will end. A thrilling 2-2 draw on opening weekend. Louisville gets the first two. Orlando gets the last two.